Hello everybody, this is going to be your tarot reading. My name is Ian, I'm using the Animal Tarot deck. If you've come looking for confirmation, make sure to take what resonates with you and leave the rest because you can be assured that the universe has a way of speaking directly to you. So, my little star drops, what is going on in your life? Tarot cards seem ready to reveal the energy that's swirling around you. So let's get into it. The Tower card and the King of Pentacles tells me that there's something that's difficult that you're handling, but you're going through it really triumphantly. It could be that um, you've lost a job or you and your partner broke up. I'm going to see what that is about a lot of cards came out when I said that so that could be the case the temperance the king of wands and the star in reverse this almost is telling me the same thing as the king of pentacles See these two strong figures here, the only difference is that the King of Wands is um, a fire energy and it has more to do with our actions and our circumstances rather than our material position. And the Temperance is telling me that this is something that you're handling with grace whatever the situation is in your life. So I'm wondering if this is about love. I see the star in reverse, the six of cups, six of wands, and the eight of wands in reverse. I think it has something to do with your social life. And perhaps you don't see how, how far you actually have come even though it may not feel like things have worked out yet completely. The Eight of Wands in reverse tells me that it's not going as fast as you might not like it to. That you feel like it should, you know, like it would if, if life were a dream, but life isn't a dream. And it takes some bit of reflection to be able to understand the actual position that we're in and it could seem pretty tough though everything is made to be loved and to be lost the star card in reverse tells me that you don't see what it is that the situation truly means to you yet if this is about love it could be that that you don't completely understand or comprehend how much that you have meant to this person or this person has meant to you even though things could be hitting the fan i saw the owl card that's the um oh, why am i blinking the seven of swords in reverse the three of cups and the two of wands This is about you coming back to a smaller friend group or you being decided that you're going to narrow your focus on who you allow into your life and spend your time with. It could be derivative of the situation that you've been through. But it's made you see that you have the capability to remedy the situation without needing to make much change because you have you've been adapting all along without actually recognizing it that's the big message that i'm getting from the cards here is that you've struggled but really <laughs> what's happened is you've become a different person through it and i think this is something that you should be proud of 
Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Cups. This is definitely somebody or a group of people that you've left behind. For what reason? I'm not sure yet. Put it down and comment it in the comments to tell me. And, um, you know, if I pull it out of the cards, let me know too. Sometimes they can be sp very specific. Tell me what it is uh, with these people or this person. The High Priestess in reverse. It's that you, oh my, it's that you didn't feel like yourself. It's that you didn't feel like you were being favored for your favorable qualities. It's a really important thing for the Queen of Cups to be accepted the way that she is and the High Priestess is about accepting herself the way that she is. The Queen of Cups is a lot about, um, it's kind of my, my favorites card. And you see this moose here, she's like a gentle giant. And they, moose can hold their breath for, I think, th a crazy amount of time, like eight minutes. And it's telling me here in reverse that you felt like you weren't in a, in a, an emotionally safe environment where you felt all that valued for, for what you feel inside. The hermit in reverse. This is definitely with somebody that you were with or with a group. It's time for you to be able to stand up for the family that you want, whether that's your friends or with your partner, even with yourself at home, the way you treat yourself is going to be really important and is really important. So you can have a stable mind, you know, at a loving place that that can support you, even if it's just in yourself. But it's really important when choosing our friendships and relationships. All right. Tell me more about what's coming in for this, for my viewer in the future. I want to see what the future has for my person here who's watching today. Five of Swords and the Page of Wands. It could feel like you're starting over a little bit, but it's nothing that you didn't see coming. It's just time that you should accept it. And it may feel like it's, it's just a slow cocooning butterfly coming out of your shell and expressing your true self what you really want what your needs are but it's an important evolutionary step in the way that you approach life is being yourself if you feel like you couldn't before the three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and you'll find your soul tribe for it this is the beginning step that's going to allow you to grow into into the butterfly that you are into the person that you've always been but maybe haven't seen once you have really developed yourself you'll feel like you have the whole world in your grasp and it's not that you'll you'll be able to go everywhere or see everything or go to every show but it's that you'll feel the world in you. You'll feel how you were created in order to be this special person that you are. And that's priceless. It's kind of, it can be kind of crazy coming to this life and knowing that it's kind of a dream. Um, 
that we can't control. The two of wands in reverse and the judgment. I think you're redefining what your areas of focus are and what's healthiest for you. I just saw 1010. This is going to be really beneficial for you to be able to know what's good for you and know what's not. Instead of making allowances for other things that could seem right or other people that seem like they could be our friends, you know, um, you could laugh at me and <laughs> go ahead and laugh with me. I've only fallen for this once in my life, but I was in the first grade. And I should have known better. I actually did. Um, this kid was was a classmate, and he was fun to be around. We were friends. And um, he told me... He told me once that I should buy him a soda because he'll be my friend. <laughs> you know, I would have said something... And if he didn't say it like that, I would have bought him a soda because I'm that kind of person. But I just kind of begrudgingly knew that it wasn't right getting him a pop, though I did. I'm sure he's learned his lesson by now. That was the first grade. And I laugh at myself for it. But don't let yourself... Um, stew in those type of situations the strength next to the high priestess beautiful this is about becoming not only your true self but a strong um, version of your true self and the five of wands next to the two of swords this is about feeling a little bit uncertain about your direction forward and I want you to know that even if you don't know where you're going because you're redefining your values it's taking you somewhere that's better i'm imagining um the land before time where littlefoot asks if uh, his mom has ever been to the great valley if you don't know they're just migrating sauropods that are looking for food when their whole world has kind of burnt and there's no food left so and it's really just about trust trusting the process based on a strong foundation of who you are inside so if you want to join me on the extended it's free and on youtube just hit the link down in the description and we are going to Pull some more about specific if this has to do with a specific person romantically or someone you're involved with so head over there and I truly appreciate you